We know for a fact that the, that the first Umayyad and Abbasid dynasty, we know they were black. We know that they were what we call Arabs, but there's no such thing as an Arab. An Arab, I call them Afrabs. Because to be an Arab, you must be black. That's what makes you an Arab, that you're black. The term Arab, that's a, a loose term. Arab doesn't really identify nationality or race because there were Moors who were Arabs, there were Moors who were Christians. So the word Moor, a lot of people try to make Moor synonymous with light or white skin, but that's not necessarily the case because you remember even when Barack Obama was, was trying to get elected in America, when people tried to slander him, they would say, oh, he's an Arab. So people know that an Arab, is, it really means non-white, but they try to make the term interchangeable. They switch the term up at their disposal. So that even if you did want to say Arabs, they're not Eurasians, they are mixtures of Eurasians and Africans that would congregate in certain areas once they came out of the Ice Age, and then they would come across, they would travel uh, west into <clears throat> what we call North Africa, but they would not come in any large numbers until thousands of years after the fact. We know that Tariq was an African. He was the general that crossed over in July of 7-11 into into what we call Spain today. It wasn't called Spain then, it didn't exist. These were little kingdoms, a king of Spain called Alphonse X, very smart man. What he did was he began to translate the works out of Arabic. Now Arabic is an African language, by the way. And Antara was the one that gave it syntax and grammar because prior to what we today call Islam, Arabic didn't exist. Arabic was the language of the Quran. And that came out of Africans, that Spanish and French and Portuguese, Italian, Romanian, these languages would, would codify themselves once the Moors came in and brought civilization and brought in a semblance of language and syntax. They then would take Latin and they would branch off and then you would have Spanish. That's why all of the languages are related to Latin. That's why they call the Latin language.